yeah hi guys so today's video is gonna be about how i make african black soap paste it's already mixed um, into a paste but i'm now going to turn it into a whitening black soap paste okay this is not the regular black soap paste that i sell on the website this one was um, specifically um, asked for by one of my customers who used my black soap and really loved it so she said she wanted something stronger that she really really loved the black soap she got from me and her husband loves it too but that she actually wanted something um that has a stronger whitening okay so i'm going to make this whitening black soap paste for her and while i'm making it we'll just do a video so that you can see the process hi so today i'm going to show you how i made this beautiful elegant looking african black soap paste all right it's so lovely smells good very active on the skin and best of all easy to use so let's go on to the production so first of all I dissolve the soap has already been dissolved so I just add the dissolved soap paste into the pot and place it on the stove so right now what I'm doing I'm adding all the oil soluble ingredients with the oil into the soup this heating process will allow the soap to absorb this ingredient very well so that it will work perfectly on your skin. So I dissolve the Kojic Depalmitate into pure palm kernel oil. And then I'm adding it into the soap to absorb very well. Next, we are going to add all the uh, other ingredients that are not so sensitive to heat okay like the turmeric and um, cinnamon and um, sandalwood and the rest yeah, so we'll be adding all these powders while the soap is still on the stove top right so we add them and then we step properly please this step you have to keep staring and staring until you are sure everything has dissolved and you know mixed up evenly in the soup so you can see we are just stirring it stirring very well this soap is a whitening soap that also helps to get rid of um, blemishes on the skin like rashes eczema and the rest you know it helps very well with acne too so you can see everything is dissolving properly and mixing up properly in the soup after doing this we are still um, going to further mash it right so before now this is where i got the soap from i usually soak up all my soap with antioxidants in a drum first of all and i fetch from here so back to video this is um, this is the finished uh, soap. We finished cooking it and we've mashed it. So now after we are done with the cooking and mashing, it's time to add our whitening powders. We're adding these whitening powders right now because these particular powders are not, you know, they are not... Um, heat friendly they are very sensitive to heat so we allow the soap to cool down a bit before adding this ones so this whitening uh, powder is what is really going to let the soap lighten the skin of whoever would be using it now this is not um, the general soap i sell someone requested that i made this specifically for her a four liter soap you know she used my soap she really loved it and she requested that i made a special whitening soap for her you know so this is it after we have made it we packaged it and it's ready to be sent 
to the customer. I already know that her review will be great because I used the best ingredients here. So in my next video, I'll be showing you how I made a skin, a strong skin whitening lotion using the base, the cream base that I made in my previous video. So thank you so much for watching. See you in the next video. Bye.